Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and welcome back to day two of Autodesk University Adventure. If you missed the last video, day one, you are in for a treat because I explore the expo floor, chatted with some incredible companies, and even got to de-stress at a dog park. Today, we're diving into the heart of Autodesk University with general sessions, talks, and online content. Imagine soaking in knowledge from the industry leaders, getting the scoop on the latest trends, and experiencing the pulse of innovation that defines Autodesk University. It's a jam-packed day, and I'm excited to share every moment with you. If you couldn't make it in person, don't worry. You can still catch all the action from the comfort of your screen. Autodesk University is offering free access to the online content, and I've got you covered with this QR code. Just scan it, and you are in. So are you ready to embark on this knowledge park journey with me? Let's dive into sessions, talks, and online content that are set to reshape the future of the entertainment industry. Join me in day two of Autodesk University. Let's focus on general sessions. Autodesk has been very busy. One of the highlights was Autodesk helping the entertainment industry and of course other industries by providing a collaborative program using the cloud. Have you heard of Autodesk Flow? If you haven't, you will. Imagine seamlessly managing production data from the earliest pre-production stages to the final touches of post-production. And the best part, no more waiting on set. Flow lets you share assets immediately and effortlessly. From storyboarding, to the director, to the editor, to the visual effects artist, all in one go. Instant access to data. The world of production is shrinking thanks to the remote access and flow. Autodesk Flow isn't just a tool, it's a tidal wave of innovation. Did you guys like what I did there? And that's not all. Autodesk is stepping into the world of AI, unleashing a wave of systems designed to make creators just like you faster, more effective, and less expensive. In Fusion, AI is solving problems and automating the creation of drawings and toolpaths. In Autodesk Flow, AI is helping organize and optimize production schedules. And in Forma, AI becomes the creative collaborator influencing the early stages of planning. So no surprise, AI is taking the industry by storm and Autodesk is at the forefront. Our next stop, talks and classes. I had the pleasure of attending some wonderful sessions and one that truly stood out was the next frontier of film and TV production. While technology is undeniably in the driver's seat, the heart of it all remains in collaboration and creativity of people. As they highlighted, prioritizing people is essential. It's the artist's magic touch that breathes life into stunning animations, games, and visual effects. Take for instance the 3D transformation of SpongeBob SquarePants and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The original stories were 2D, but thanks to the artists, the movies came to life in 3D. My personal favorite, the Turtles movie, where they used Autodesk Maya and Arnold to craft intricate and beautiful shaders. Take a look at the shadows and sketch marks. Those are so cool. Another highlight was the collaboration between Las Vegas Sphere and Marvel Studios. I mentioned them in a previous video, but did you know that they just had five weeks to complete the project? That is so impressive. And what's even cooler is that they use Maya and Arnold to make the cat alien into reality. Switching gears to classes, I dived into Maya and ZBrush together, an intro guide for indie artists. The workflow between Maya and ZBrush was nothing but fascinating, with tools like UV Master, GoZ, and a quick tip. If you're into building blend shapes rapidly, Maya Blend Shapes in ZBrush is your go-to. It plugs your ZBrush layers of expressions right into Maya with the blend shapes pre-connected. Talk about a time saver. Then came the ABCs of USD. USD stands for Universal Scene Description. And if you've been wondering what that's all about, you are not alone. This class delved into USD, its origins, and how Autodesk is investing in next-gen technologies like Material X. Mind-blowing stuff. While I enjoyed attending the classes at the convention, there is an abundance of incredible information accessible online. These courses are not only free, but also available right now at Virtual Autodesk University. Don't miss out on this opportunity to level up your skills. The first online session I had to watch was AI-powered workflows in Maya, leveraging large language models for intuitive interactions. This course was fascinating because he demonstrated how to use AI in Maya. For example, he would type create a sun and voila, there was a sun. Tell AI to place a camera and there you go. 
You could also tell it to place lights and change colors and in a second, they were there. This is just the beginning of the use of AI in Autodesk Maya. The course dives into the complexities of how AI works and how to implement it. It's still in the beta version, but the possibilities are endless. Next up is one of my favorite YouTube creators, Sir Wade. He created a course called Exploring Maya's Workflows for Character Animation. Sir Wade dives into the depths of animating in Maya, including keyframe, the most traditional workflow, motion capture, an efficient workflow for particular animations, and for fun, experimental. For keyframe animation, Sir Wade focuses on the five stages of animation, planning, blocking, blocking plus, spline refine, and of course, polish. And he even shows examples. For motion capture, it's important to weigh all options, especially when it comes to hardware, software, and how to capture fidelity, such as the hands and the face. As for experimental, animation is not just about animating characters. You can also use Maya to animate text and other objects. He demonstrates dynamics to drive animation and other cool motion graphics effects. You should definitely check out this course. One of the most enlightening courses was Radical Real-Time Collaborative 3D Animation in Maya. In this course, I learned about Radical's real-time motion capture tool. I interviewed Radical in the last video, but in this course, it really dives into the details. Not only can you do motion capture with just a camera, I mean any camera, your phone camera, your iPad camera, or even your computer camera, and you can also have two people in one session. Not only that, they can be in another room, in another building, in another state, or in another country. It's all real time. In this example, Reticle demonstrates how powerful their AI system is, their motion capture system that uses AI, and how they have two people in different spaces sharing the same motion capture session. Imagine the possibilities. Crafting the Future Realistic 3D Assets for Sustainable Design is another course that I really enjoy. It delves into the realm I know very little about, which is how 3D is helping reduce the carbon footprint. Innovators are now extending 3D from design to commerce. This increases the speed to market, reduces the carbon footprint, reduces cost, and doubles online conversion rates and many other benefits. For example, there's a children's brand of clothing that used 3D models instead of creating actual clothing. This saved over $89,000 per clothing line and 4.4 tons of carbon reductions. That is like driving a gas car for over 100,000 miles. It's impressive. 3D is helping improve training with interactive presentations. They are also able to demonstrate technical skills without traveling. It highlights key technical elements and training is faster. This class also goes over the importance of PBR materials so that the complicated materials look accurate in all engines, including game engines and Autodesk software like 3ds Max and Maya. PBR materials include glass, anastropy, sheen, clear coat, and more. The purpose is to make sure it looks as realistic as possible. You can't forget lighting though, HDRI plays a valuable role in having accurate renders. Mix all of this together and you get an innovative, environment-friendly 3D render that can be displayed online with accurate materials, ensuring the accurate display of 3D products in a wide variety of end-user experiences on the web, social media, ad platforms, and applications. So it's not just about making movies, games, and visual effects anymore. Product designing is a huge part of 3D and it is helping the world become more sustainable. While there's a wealth of additional content to explore, condensing it into one video would make it hours long. So I highly encourage you to log into Autodesk University and explore the remaining content yourself. It's an experience you won't regret. A special thanks to Autodesk for sponsoring this video and providing an incredible learning opportunity. The knowledge gained from this trip has left me more excited than ever about Autodesk products. I'm eager to incorporate the new skills that I have learned into my current work pipeline. Also, I'm excited to delve into tools like Flow and AI because it feels like we're just scratching the surface of something truly remarkable. Thank you again and until next year, Autodesk University. And for my subscribers, keep creating.